Creatine is one of the few supplements that has a long track record of scientific research supporting its use. In a world full of supplements with false promises, creatine actually delivers and has small benefits for your muscle growth progress. To help you better understand how creatine works and its potential benefits in your fitness journey, in today's video we will discuss all about the science behind creatine. But first, it's of course important to mention that the most important variables in your fitness process will be your training, nutrition and recovery habits. No supplement can replace the need for a good training program, nutrition approach and good sleeping habits. If you have these basics in place and would like to slightly enhance your muscle development results, then using creatine is worth considering. So what is creatine and how does it impact your results? In human energy production, we use the compound creatine to resynthesize ATP. ATP is the energy currency we use for all movement, including muscle contractions. The human body only stores a limited amount of ATP at each time. The amount of ATP your body has stored is only enough for a few seconds of high-intensity exercise. To resynthesize ATP during high-intensity exercise, your body uses the creatine phosphate stores in muscle. Basically, the more creatine your body has stored in muscle cells, the harder you can train since your body can efficiently resynthesize ATP during exercise. Now, it's important to know that creatine is a naturally occurring compound. Your body produces creatine and we even consume some creatine in our daily foods. Creatine is also often referred to as a zoo nutrient since it is present in animal-based foods like meat and fish. But unless you eat an unrealistic amount of animal-based protein on a daily basis, your muscle creatine stores are likely not maximized. By supplementing with creatine, we can increase the creatine stores in your muscles and this improves your performance. And when I am talking about taking creatine, I am specifically referring to creatine monohydrate. There are many forms of creatine that you could take, but creatine monohydrate is the form of creatine that has been studied the most and is most reliable. If we look at the research, we see that other forms of creatine do not provide greater benefits than creatine monohydrate, despite some of the claims by certain supplement companies. So now you may be thinking, okay cool, creatine increases muscle creatine stores, but what effects does having taken creatine actually have? Well, if we look at the research, we see that creatine consistently has been shown to boost your muscle and strength gains. This makes sense, creatine boosts your strength performance, and if you're able to consistently perform better in the gym, then eventually this also translates to better training adaptations. But it's important to mention that these muscle and strength gain benefits from creatine are small. Creatine is a naturally occurring compound, taking extra creatine won't have these super crazy muscle growth results. You may find that you can do around one repetition more on each exercise once you're loaded on creatine. Which is good, but we also need to manage expectations. Taking creatine by itself won't make you jacked, it's just a small boost. There might also be a small boost in recovery when you take creatine. In one study, it was found that creatine supplementation enhances the resynthesis of muscle glycogen. Because of this, you recover more quickly after your workout. Another benefit of taking creatine that has been found in recent research is that creatine supplementation also helps in brain energy production. Multiple review papers have found that creatine supplementation can help improve memory, focus and attention. Because of the improved brain energy production, taking creatine may also have some neuroprotective effects, which is especially beneficial for athletes involved in high-impact sports like boxing or American football. The way creatine has beneficial effects on brain performance is similar to how it has beneficial effects on muscle performance. Taking creatine increases the availability of creatine in the brain, which can be readily used for brain energy metabolism. So if we know how creatine works and that it has performance benefits, how can we go about getting these benefits? Research shows that taking 3 to 5 grams of creatine monohydrate per day is sufficient to get all the benefits. Some supplement companies recommend you take 20 grams of creatine per day in the first week to load up on creatine. But you can basically get the same benefits by just taking 3 to 5 grams of creatine monohydrate per day. It may take 2 weeks instead of 1 week to then be fully loaded on creatine, but it's totally fine. I typically would recommend against doing a loading phase to avoid the possibility of developing some gut discomfort. Also, there is no need to time your creatine intake at a specific time. Creatine's effects are long-term. Taking creatine now won't make you directly feel more energized. So if you take creatine pre-workout, it will not have a direct impact on your workout performance. Creatine supplementation is extremely simple. You can just focus on having 3 to 5 grams on a daily basis and you will receive the benefits. As you just saw, the benefits of creatine are well established in the current literature. But some have concerns regarding the health effects of creatine. 
Several short and long-term studies have investigated the effects of creatine supplementation on kidney function, liver function, and general health. No negative effects were found in healthy individuals. The International Society of Sports Nutrition also released a position stand in which they reviewed the current literature on creatine supplementation. And the researchers conclude that supplementation within recommended doses is safe. Numerous other research reviews support this. Basically, creatine is one of the most extensively studied and scientifically validated nutritional supplements out there. There is no evidence suggesting it causes negative health effects in healthy individuals that use it correctly and get their creatine from a reliable source. If you have any pre-existing health concerns and are not sure how creatine will impact you, then of course it's always best to check with your physician. Another common concern people have is that creatine may cause some abdominal bloating. Although creatine supplementation does result in some weight gain through water retention, this water is stored in muscle cells, not under your skin. So instead of making you look bloated, creatine just slightly increases the size of your muscles, which is something many people are actually looking for. Also, you may have heard of recent rumors that creatine might be impacting hair loss. This idea is based on a three-week study that found creatine supplementation may increase the levels of an androgenic hormone known as DHT. DHT can block the delivery of nutrients to hair follicles in men with male pattern baldness, and this is thought to be a contributing factor to hair loss. Now, these findings are controversial because this study has not been replicated to date, which means we don't even know for sure if creatine actually increases your DHT levels in the first place. Also, hair loss is arguably mostly a genetic thing. A naturally occurring compound like creatine will not have a big impact on this process. Considering this and the fact that athletes who supplemented with creatine for up to 4 years did not report an unusual increase in hair loss, it's very unlikely that creatine has any impact on your hair. Now, just one last tip when it comes to creatine supplementation. Recent research found that when you mix caffeine and creatine together, creatine's effects become less powerful. Having caffeine and creatine in the same drink may result in lower creatine absorption. So if you plan on taking creatine, separate your creatine intake from any caffeinated drinks to get the most benefits. So to sum up this video on how creatine impacts your gains. Creatine monohydrate is one of the few supplements that has good scientific backing for slightly improving muscle and strength gains. There's also promising research showing benefits in terms of brain health. Creatine monohydrate is widely regarded as safe for healthy individuals. It also should not cause any bloating. To achieve the benefits of creatine, take 3 to 5 grams per day of creatine monohydrate from a reliable brand. No creatine timing or loading is necessary. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better understanding of how creatine works and whether taking creatine is beneficial for you. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next video.